This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. The best time to come to Makkah Masjid is in the mornings. If you make it before 8 o'clock, even better. Jowar is the favourite for the pigeons for breakfast and it's lovely to see them fly towards you for food. Even one who comes here every day can't tell which pigeon is a regular here. But the Makkah Masjid can. For the last 315 years, the carvings around its domes are home to most pigeons. Some others come here only when hungry and then fly away. But Makkah never complains. The monument is always accommodative, not just to the pigeons, but even to more than 10,000 people who want to pray together. That's why Makkah Masjid is said to be one of the largest mosques built. Praying at Makkah Masjid in Hyderabad is as good as praying at Makkah in Saudi Arabia, they say. You see these bricks right on top of the main arch that leads into the mosque? These are said to be made from the earth that King Sultan Muhammad Khutub Shah brought from Makkah. The foundation stone was being laid, Sultan Muhammad Qutub Shah invited all the religious leaders of the city and said if any one of you have never missed a prayer in life, then come forward and lay the foundation stone. No one came forward, but it was Sultan Muhammad who laid the foundation because he was a very religious and a pious man who never missed a single prayer since the age of 12. Work began in 1617. It took 77 years to make what we see today. These grand arches are made of monolithic rocks, meaning each of the 15 rocks is of a single rock. The hall is decorated with Belgian Christian chandeliers, royal carpets and writings from the Holy Quran in gold threads. It is not just this massive monument by the Khutub Shahis that we are asking you to vote for, but also the culture that Hyderabadis have inherited from them. For example, when Aurangzeb had attacked the Golconda fort and was ready to make one morning Abul Hassan Tanasha, the last of the Shahi kings, a slave, even then as a slave, apparently Tanasha offered Aurangzeb breakfast. If you visit any Hyderabadis home, whoever you may be, the first things you will hear from them is Aye Tashrif Rakhi.
कटन नेक पैंट वाला ट्रैक एंड नाउ फॉर द रियल वन to the left of makka just a few yards away imagine these busy streets were half empty the hawkers shops autos were missing by name Muhammad Khuli Khutub Shah descends from his elephant kneels down at this very spot where this massive edifice now stands says this prayer Allah deliver the subjects of my kingdom Hyderabad from plague I promise I shall construct a monument in this very place my people will remember you for your inimitable kindness King Muhammad Khutub indeed made this prayer in the year 1591 and when his prayers were answered he fulfilled his promise he built the char minar what can i say about the char minar that no one has said before the words magnificent or inspiring brilliant excellent all of these seem too little to describe this timeless beauty a monument is a structure but has no life The Char Minar is more than that. It is living and being loved every day. This celebrity in Hyderabad stands with pride, unperturbed about the pollution harassing it or the constant stream of vehicles revolving around it, the paparazzi or simply the many number of eyes staring at it. Since the time it came alive more than 400 years ago that is, it has only heard praise and more praise for its symmetry and precision. to the char minar is through its minars after some 149 steps is the first floor of the monument and the highest point people are allowed up to there are antique clocks on each side but you won't care to look at the time so long as you're enjoying the carvings and moldings inside the monument Not many are familiar with this portion of the Char Minar. Its roof has a mosque, and I found this part the most beautiful. On Fridays, everyone assembled here on the roof of Char Minar to pray in the direction of the west, the direction of Makkah. Okay, I have just learnt a way to pronounce the monarch's name. The monarch is, of course, Khuli Khutub Shah. It's not K. It's not K. There is something in between which you need to voice. Khuli. Khutub, <coughs> sorry, Khuli Khutub Shah. Khutub Shahi architecture is very stylish. In granite and lime mortar, these flowers and grapes seem fresh as ever. The towering structure is a perfect square. Each side is twenty meters wide. The lofty arched openings are 20 meters high too, but Char Minar is famous for what gives it its name, the Char Minars or the Four Minarets, each peering into the sky at 54 meters. There are 64 arched windows on all sides of the mosque, each is of a different design. The making of this pictogram of Hyderabad took less than a year. Need help, Peter? 
तीन साल हो गया The char minar means different things to different people. For most, it's the symbol of Hyderabad. For lovers, it's the best hangout place. For some, it's a great shopping experience in this hustle bustle. For our Khelaj Khair, the Sufi singer, there couldn't have been a better location to shoot his Tere Naam Pe Jilu. For me, it's a feeling of warmth, a feeling that I'm home. पड़ेगी मोहब्बत की राह वो मेरा